Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. So in this video, we are going to learn uh, the Visual Basic tips number three. And in this uh, particular tips, uh, we will uh, learn how to sort data by multiple column. So uh, with the help of Visual Basic application code, uh, we will sort the data by multiple, you know, using uh, two or three columns, uh, even more than that. So let's move to, uh, you know, Excel uh, window. And uh, you can see that in this particular uh, Excel work, uh, you know, workbook, uh, we have only one, uh, one worksheet that is raw data. And this raw data has a table that is, uh, you know, that has three columns basically employee IDs, employee name, and supervisor. So, what we need to do, uh, we need to apply, you know, the sorting uh, with the help of, uh, you know, a macro code or VVU, uh, VVU code basically uh, on multiple columns, basically uh, on all, the, all these three columns, okay the column a column b and column c so let's move to uh, you know a visual basic application window so to do that you know just you just need to click on a developer tab and and then click on visual basic application so alternatively you can also press alt plus f11 to jump to a uh, visual basic application code right so let's click on visual basic here and once you will click on visual basic uh, you will directly jump to a microsoft visual basic for application window right so here we need to write all those codes so let's click on insert and then click on module so once you click on module one new module uh, will get inserted in this particular uh, pro project like so and this is the code container so let's start writing the code okay so as we are going to you know sort data by multiple columns so let's uh, give the uh, give the you know the subroutine name as you know sub sort multiple columns okay and press enter create some room over here then you know start writing code so we will utilize with block over here you know with active sheet dot sort okay and let's uh, end with so okay so this is the block where we will uh, write the code for sorting you know based on multiple columns let's uh, create some room over here and let's start writing code so first of all is let's assume that you know maybe uh, you have already applied uh, sorting so uh, like keeping in mind that okay uh, there will be a high possibility that you know user has already sorted the data maybe on some different criteria you know so what we need to do we need to for safer side we need to uh, clear the sorting uh, from that particular worksheet like the active worksheet so let's write the code to clear the sorting okay so dot sort fields and dot clear so what it will do it will clear the uh, earlier sorting on fields and let's start writing the code to sort so first we'll sort fields dot add and then q should be a uh, colon equal to uh, range a1 right and uh, then comma and what we need to do we need to give the order over here so order uh, would be excel a s c e and sending okay so now you can see that uh, the first line of code is already we need to replicate the same code for uh, column b so let's press enter and we need to change this uh, column b and again we have one more column that is column c so let's uh, paste the same code and change the name on uh, no, range as uh, c1 so what we need to do we need to you know give the like we have already applied order and excel ascending excel uh, you know ascending for column b as well let's utilize the uh, you know, the other uh, like sorting order that is excel descending okay for learning purpose right and now we have added all those you know fields in our sort fields now we need to uh, set the range basically you know so dot set range and the range uh, should be you know starting from a1 column uh, a1 uh, cell and then it will go to c1 but see uh, let's move to excel uh, no excel and here you can see that we have only three different columns and the last row is let's move downward you know and let you can see that uh, this is the 31 is the last uh, row so 
uh, either you can make it dynamic you know uh, so that uh, excel will automatically identify all those columns the last columns as well as the last row but for learning purpose as we are focusing on learning basically in uh, sorting you know uh, sort data by multiple columns so let's uh, take it on uh, a static value so c uh, would be the last column and 31 would be the you know the last row so let's move to you know move back to visual basic and you know the c and then 31 okay then bracket close okay and here so see we have uh, applied the range now we need to give uh, like we need to say uh, that okay this particular table have you know a header field so we need to give another property like set the another property that is header is equal to excel yes so in this particular table uh, this particular table has header that's why i am you know uh, like giving excel yes value but if you think that your table has you know no header so you can uh, say like insert as you know give the value as excel no right and now we need to apply all those coding so that excel uh, will sort visual basic will sort the data basis on our given value or given properties here like so that's done so you can see that let's click on debug and compile so it means uh, there is no error it has been successfully compiled by visual basic application now uh, double click on this and see i have already told you that you know there are two uh, basically there are two uh, way to uh, uh, run this macro either we can create a command button over here in excel sheet and then assign this sort multiple columns on that command button and once you click on that command button uh, like this uh, like uh, the active worksheet will be sorted uh, basis on the code available here right and the other method is uh, like keeping your you know cursor in this particular um, subroutine just uh, click on either the run or press f5 so let's uh, click over you know, run and now you can see that uh, our excel like this particular table has been sorted basis on the code uh, what uh, we have provided like uh, the employee id in ascending order employee name in again ascending order and supervisor in descending order. so to validate uh, this whether this particular sorting order has been applied by excel or not let's uh, click here and press alt ds right so once you press alt ds sort window will appear and you can see that okay this particular uh, sort uh, window has like sort by employee id and this is smallest to largest means ascending order and then employee name it means e to z it means ascending order and then supervisor it means z to a uh, like it's a descending order so sort order has been successfully you know uh, assigned by visual basic application code so this is all about you know and the visual basic application code uh, code to sort a data by multiple columns hope you enjoyed this video and that uh, this video will be very useful for you thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye thank you